Hello friends, today I present a video demonstration of the disassembly of a safety valve. There are many types and models of safety valves in the market, but in this case in particular we will talk about a threaded body safety valve, which also carry a lever drive. This valve is going to be prepared for training, so once the assembly is done it will not be done completely, although for that, if you give the correct explanation, in this case this valve does not have the lever in place, but in spite of that we will disassemble the actuating system, so we remove the pin from the lever and so we can disassemble the sleeve from the cam. Once the pin is removed, let's demo the cam sleeve. Unscrew the lid. Before extracting the adjustment screw, we will take a reference measurement with the gauge, to apply the same measurement when the assembly is made. In this case we will take the measurement from the top of the screw, to the top of the adjusting nut. The measurement taken corresponds to 42.2 millimeters, so we wrote it down in the body of the valve. Then loosen the nut of the adjusting screw and then turning the adjusting screw in the counterclockwise direction of the clockwise, we get this way to release the load on the spring that regulates the opening of the valve. To completely release the adjusting screw, loosen the nut and counter nut of the screw. Continue loosening the adjusting screw and once disassembled, we will proceed to unscrew the body or cylinder from the valve in the same anti-clockwise direction, loosening it we will access the internal parts of the valve. We lift the body of the base with great care, avoiding that the internal parts can fall and be damaged. We extract the upper blocking washer, the spring and the lower locking washer, all together. We dismantle the spindle. Then, the guide and the shutter are removed. Well, we already have the valve removed. In the next video I will show you how the assembly is done in some details.